I, I personally hate pineapple as a fruit. It should be abolished. Pineapple and peaches, I'm going to say it. <laughs> it. It has no purpose being anywhere. Not digested, know. not on pizza, not not anywhere at all. Well, I agree with that pizza statement, but I don't know. I think they're okay. You like pineapple? Nah, bro. I look at you a little. Do you like eggs? Yeah, eggs are fine. All right. It was, thank you for having me on the show, bro. It was, it was really <laughs> cool. I appreciate that. I got to head out. Uh, hey, oh, come I, on, man. I'm not having eggs on pizza, okay? Well, not, still, like, there's just certain French. foods... That I, <laughs> they have eggs on pizza. Yeah, man. What the? Fu I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's like you a sunny, side, me. sunny side up on a pizza. Yeah. Wait, with the tomato sauce? Yeah, man. It's like a pizza with an egg on it. I'm good, bro. See, this is why I don't travel around the world. The less I know, the better. Oh, oh my should, god. You should go to Montreal though. They have poutine. It's great. It's it's a heart. Okay. It's a heart attack in a bucket, but it's great. But that's like gravy, cheese, and fries. Right? Yeah, that's what that man. Is. Hell yeah. Ugh. I mean, you got it. I, I, that's just not for me. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a gravy person. Like if, wait, if there's like on, a liquid on. substance wait, wait, on my wait. food. If you don't like gravy or eggs or like, what do you what do you like? Like what's good food in Africa? Well, it depends. Like I, I, I don't know what you want me to say. You got you got the pastas. You got like you got you got the meats. You got the salads, whatever the fuck. You can't like, just I, say I'm meats very... and salads when when you don't like gravy and you don't like pineapple. You, you gotta. Be but I don't specific. I don't need the gravy on it. I don't need meat and nut on my food. That's disgusting. <laughs> and pineapples, I just don't see. I I just don't like. It. It's too sweet for me. I like some fruit, but some like when something's too sweet, it kind of turns me off to it. That makes sense. But you can give an example of something you actually like. Well, like there's just a lot say of food. Something. I don't know what you say want. something I said you something. like. I said, I said pastas or oh, fucking spaghetti. Oh, you got, okay. Like, spaghetti. You got pastas. Like pesto pastas. You got like, you know what I'm saying? Oatmeal, cereal. You okay. feel me? But right. eggs are trash. That's just my point. Like, I like food. I just don't like the meat nut, eggs, and pineapples and peaches. And a few other ones. You don't like meat nut. You don't like bird nut. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an excrement from an animal, it's just not your thing. It's, it's just not. It's not for me. It's not for me. It gotta be whole. <laughs> it can't be the the, uh, the others. <laughs> I know this is completely random, but I saw. You know Gabriel Iglesias, the comedian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think he's pretty hilarious. Um, all I agree. Together. He. I just watched uh, recently. Just ended up in my YouTube recommended. You know, you click one and you get like thirty of them. Mm -hmm. So I clicked one, and uh, it was. Him making uh, like a racist prank to his friend where he had uh, a black friend of his in a hotel and he went to the supermarket and bought like all the stereotypical black guy foods and put them all mm. in like he got uh, <laughs> this big fried chicken and a watermelon and like, you know, <laughs> grape soda. Oh my like, gosh, oh, right. <laughs> he goes uh. to the room to give it to him. I, while you were saying like what foods you like, I was legit holding myself back from saying what about fried chicken? What about? Oh my gosh! See, but that's the thing. Like, like I get the stereotypes, but I, I can't, I can't hate on none of the stereotypical foods. Like all them shits are fire. So it's like when people hit me with it, I'm gonna agree, uh, get, abiding to the joke. But those shits are fire to me. Like I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I, right. Maybe like peach cobbler and like sweet potato pie, you can keep. No, nah, sweet potato pie. <laughs> you had sweet potato pie before? Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, let me ask you a question. I haven't. You have it? You no. had pumpkin pie before? Yes. Okay, but not sweet potato. You have to have sweet potato pie. That's some time of your life, bro. Super, I gotta. Super, I'm gonna I'm take you to the cookout, bro. Hold, hold, One of these days, bro. Super titty pie. Sweet potato pie. I oh pie. yeah, I've eaten yeah. sweet potato pie. You were like, have you eaten su super titty pie? And I was like, well, I mean, uh, <laughs> not. The food. Okay, so. So, you, you ever had like uh, like homemade like sweet potato pie and shit yeah. like that? Hell yeah. I've always had like bad experiences with that and it was never good. It's like every, like I guess when my family gets together, it's like they collab on making very sus food. Oh no. And like it's only my one <laughs> uncle who's like the avatar of like the get together that can make some fire he's shit. So he's I have, mastered like, all four like elements of food. Right, yeah. I was going to play a game. I try to figure out who is my uncles. But like I, I don't want to be rude. I got to just like pick all of them. But. It, it, it's not a, a a good a good Thanksgiving at my house to say the least. Okay, I guess. Maybe you. that's why I can't cook. My jeans are fucking terrible for cooking. Holy Yo, shit! I'm, I'm no cooking master either. But then again, my uh, I, I eat pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I appreciate uh -oh. I appreciate good food, but like you, you take a piece of bread and like a jar of tahini sauce, and I'll be like, oh hell yeah, lunch. Yeah. Tahini is that like that spice no, sauce thing? No, it's like. It's sesame and chickpeas or something. I don't really know what that you is. You lost me. Bro. I don't know, man. It, it's okay. My point is, I, I'm not too picky. 
Okay, I'm the opposite. I'm picky as fuck. Like I, I have I have certain parameters on my food. Like you know, like the one reason I don't have gravy is because like it's like the the plague to foods. Cause I don't like when you put it on one thing and then it just touches everything else. I'm I'm over. Oh, I don't like yeah. that. I that's, don't that's like it. That's the problem with coleslaw. Okay, you put like some coleslaw I, I on that. a plate and then it's like everything on the plate tastes like coleslaw now. <laughs> yeah, I can I can definitely agree with that. It's just like certain foods for me that have that same like caution type vibe like i just don't like that <laughs> caution this food will shit on all your other food man just ruins it yeah that's Bruh. one thing in naruto that always confuses me because like the writing in the beginning it, it it's as almost as if it's written in a way to where it wasn't made to go on so far you know what i'm saying yeah, because like the third kage didn't care about naruto in that way like he just left him in the house by himself yeah, I, no, I didn't like, see him giving him food. The way either. I saw it, like, like, you're right, I didn't see him giving him food. Like, he just had, like, a ton of, like, instant noodle soups. It kind of looked like my apartment. But, uh, yeah. anyway. <laughs> but, no, no, what I'm trying to say is, you know, what's his name? Konohamaru got so much love by everyone in the village just by being the grandson of the third Hokage. This dude is the son of the fourth Hokage who saved the village, and this dude gets crap from everyone. Like, yeah. And, and the third Okage doesn't say a thing about it. This dude had a tragic backstory for no reason. I mean, yeah, his parents died. But aside from that, like, bruh. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I remember I had like an argument with somebody because they said it's like, no, the reason why they didn't tell him is because if they would have said like he has a nine tails in him, he would have had like all this shit, whatever. You don't ah, even need to say all bro. that. Just say he's the son of the. Yes. We'll stop shitting on him. Yeah, man. That's just, it. Just point at the big freaking statue in the middle of the village. At the mountain, be like, be like that, you? that's your dad. And he would just yeah. have like a source of pride. He thought his whole life that his dad was one of the nameless shinobi that died when the Nine Tailed Fox attacked the village. Like, come Low on, key, man. Let's really talk about it. Third Hokage, da Donzo adjacent. Let's really sit here and dissect this because he's just docile Donzo. Let's, I mean, I don't know. This was actually kind of really fucked up to me. Yeah, this was kind of messed up. And uh, I will say, Donzo, though, the fact that Donzo was... Donzo is a big plot hole, okay? Yes, <laughs> Naruto, yes. that's a whole different conversation. It's like, yeah. The third Hokage is like, well, Donzo, I know you were really gunning for this position, and even though I'm more worthy than you, I will give you half the power of the village just to appease you. And Donzo's like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, so, so you're going to turn a blind eye to the human experimentation I do and the child murder? Yes. Okay. He's <laughs> like, dope, dope. <laughs> right, yeah. he just goes about his business. <laughs> It is stupid. It God is definitely damn. stupid. That, that, that's Naruto, though. If there's not plot holes, it wouldn't be Naruto, unfortunately. There's a lot of them. Pretty much. A lot. But I have so much love for Naruto. You hate Boruto, right? Yeah, you don't You don't like that so much, do you? No, I'm not, not the biggest fan. I know you upload Boruto videos every once in a while. And I mean, you got a Boruto video to get like three and a half million views last I saw it. So I respect you. But yeah, no. Do you read the manga or is just not I, I read the manga all? until... Uh, Naruto was fighting that Delta girl. And oh, that's like, when you stopped. Yeah, that's when I'm I, over it. Okay. But that that's a lot though. Like that's that, 60 yeah. chapters or something. Like that's a hefty amount. 50. Yeah. It's like I understand why someone cannot like Baruto cuz it's Oh, you can I, understand I, it. You, I, I can. You can I 100% I 100% can yeah, cuz it's you, like yeah. the, the I I don't know how would I say it just feels too soon for one and just the things they do can't come off as like random and just I also like, why must, we I here? must have watched like 70 episodes of it too like I really gave it a chance I really wanted to like Boruto yeah I, it'd be like that you don't like the war arc either too so I feel like you were just fatigued no You're I don't over like it. I don't like the war arc but as bad as the yeah. war arc was Boruto managed to, managed to get worse did you watch all of Boruto yeah I'm caught up in everything whoa so you actually sat through that mist village arc yeah like with the seven swordmen of the mist bozos that all stole the swords and yeah yep. that, that arc oh like for me like baruto was like something i'll put on because like when i edit and stuff like that i'll have like things in the background um so i'll have that in the background and I'll, I'll like read it whatever just go back to the shit. it it was just something to watch for me like i didn't really enjoy it as i would like watching a consecutive story it was more so just like like you know when you when you as a kid will go on and just pop on Cartoon Network and you just see something out of order of like you know what I'm yeah, saying just a random sure. cartoon just watch it that that's pretty much how I looked at Boruto and it was enjoyable when I looked at it not so seriously. Well, for me, I like putting something on in the background that doesn't actively annoy me. 
Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go to Netflix and even if it's trash, like what was I watching recently? I was watching Blacklist, and I'll be honest, mm-hmm. it's not as good as it could have been. Uh, it, it got pretty, it got pretty bad. But like, I would rather put that on with the greatness of Netflix's autoplay than Boruto when I actually have to click next episode. You know? Yeah, that's understandable. I can give you that, but I can't give you One Piece. Though. Oh, One Piece, is, dude, dude. Have you actually <laughs> tried One Piece? I, I have actually tried One Piece. Right, how far the, did you get? The thing, remember, in regards to like chapters and shit, but it was like, I think it was at the, the, the peak of like all the A shit that happens. I think it was just about to get to that. Okay, all right. I'm not, no, and no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe it was before that. Dude, and you can but, say you, all right. So I get it's part of your brain no, hold on. to hate on They me. were, they were going up a fucking water shit with the, the, their boat. It was like a, a waterfall shit going straight up or whatever. Dude, you know that, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, that was only like 300 chapters before the ace thing. So, yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm, Maybe not even close to that. How many, how many chapters was that? Like, how far was that in? That was like 100 chapters in. Okay. Yeah, that was already enough. <laughs> no! <laughs> so no it's, One Piece is so good. It's legit amazing. Okay? I, I like... But this is when I was a kid when I watched it. And it was not like I didn't like i saw the value of the journey and it and it was cool like i can see how people like that um it wasn't just the journey though it was the characters it was th- it's such a great story one piece is at actually the, at amazing. the time at the time i couldn't get into the characters like that and maybe that was like a big part I, it just of like how i watched it because it was tsunami for me right and it kind of got overshadowed by everything else. like i don't uh, like when I, I'm, I'm gonna give it another solid chance <gasps> But I just remember and watching read the it manga. Back. Read the free- if you could read Boruto, you could read One Piece. Yeah, everybody tells me that's the proper way to go about it because the anime doesn't do it service in a lot of areas. No. Is that and if you, you do watch agree? the anime, there's a there's a website called One Piece that tells you mm-hmm. where to where to skip all the filler and stuff. Is that filler like Naruto or Bleach or not not like that at all? So there, it's different. Uh, there are filler arcs like in Naruto and Bleach, but they're also like just random filler episodes in middle of actual arcs. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, that but makes sense because there are One no arc, there is no arc in One Piece. There is no arc in One Piece as bad as the Bount arc of Bleach. <sighs> see, the thing with the Bount arc, I really thought. See, we're on. I really thought that was actual canon. That shit threw me off. Dude, that I was all, like, when I first watched it, I also thought it was canon. I was just like, why is this happening? What, 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 <laughs> what is going on? This, this has been 40 episodes Tangent, of but Bounce. For real. Like, oh my God. The Bounce arc was trash. And then I remember awful. it ended and I'm like, well, at least something came from it. There was still that one dude with like the metal bounce thing. Like, at least he'll come back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, I think the thing for that that solidified it as trash is like, they ended it the same way how like, the previous fight with Ichigo ended in the previous arc with like Byakuya. Yeah. I did not like that at all. I just felt like I just re ate food. I was good on that. <laughs> that was disgusting. Yeah. This Naruto's a mood. Naruto's a mood until the war arc. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, One Piece is, is better. Sorry. Yeah, everybody tells me that it's, it's definitely gotten better and to give it a chance. Like, I'm definitely gonna try to, to get into it one good time because I, I, I'm still probably gonna hate on it because I do genuinely like hating on One Piece. It, it's a good hobby. No, yeah, everybody needs a hobby. Dude, you should honestly make a series of videos where you just go through One Piece and talk about it as you go through it, but keep hating on it. Like say it was amazing and then when you finish the video and talk about everything you liked about that it's crazy that One Piece is trash or something. <laughs> you can say, right. like, you talk about it, you say, this brought tears to my eyes. It's one of the greatest things I've ever witnessed. Two out of 10. <laughs> that's actually fire that's actually yeah, people right. will be fucking pressed but you yeah. know what that's not a bad idea <laughs> yo if you, if you want someone to collab with you going through the one piece arcs i know a guy wink wink <laughs> say no more 